let's talk about the dungeon real quick. Let's talk about the dungeon before we end stream. So obviously there's the aesthetic of the dungeon. So you go in, you're on Mars and it's Vex. There's just Vex everywhere. And they're shooting, they're zapping. There's these minotaurs, these void shielded minotaurs. You shoot those guys, they drop the little arc pool that gives you arctrician buff. That's the key to this whole dungeon, all right? The arctrician buff, all right? You pick up that buff and now you gotta find a node. You gotta play the little, you ever played Mass Effect? That little mini game where you gotta connect the nodes? That's basically what this is. There's a starting node and then there's an end node. The way you can tell the starting node is it's gonna have a little arrow next to it. So you gotta find that one. Boom, you shoot that one. And then you just follow the path to the next one. Boom, boom, boom. And then you shoot it. And once you get in the middle, all of the corners light up. Boom, the ground opens up. Now you're, now you're in the dungeon. You drop down, jumping puzzle, jumping puzzle. You kill some stuff. And that's, I mean, that's pretty much the whole dungeon, right? Once you get to the other Let's call it the outside area, the scaffolding. I, I like the aesthetic in that there's like a lot of scaffolding. It's kind of open. You can fall off. You know, there's lots of holes to fall through. So make sure your jumps are on point in here. Um, you're killing Vex. Boom, you kill a Minotaur. He drops the well. You're Arctrician. And you're just doing that. And once you get all the nodes unlocked, it's going to take you on an elevator. And you do that up three floors, right? So once you go through that, that's pretty easy, right? It's it's basically the open encounter, but more verticality added to it. So once you do that, now you're at your first boss encounter, this big harpy. I forget what his name is, but it's basically the Garden of Salvation uh, harpy boss. So you go through, there's four corners, same same deal. You get your buff, you ping the, the tower of four corners. The harpy is always gonna come to the last one that you ping, um, and then you shoot his eyes and then boom, his crit spot opens up, you light him up with your linear fusions or your precision weapons, whatever your precision weapon of choice is. Supers the whole nine. Um, and then you just keep doing that until he's dead. Pretty straightforward. In terms of difficulty, this dungeon isn't super difficult. It's probably one of the easiest dungeons to do. Um, it's soloable and it's easy, but it might be a difficult solo just because of the amount of ads. The amount of ads, there's explosive ads, and the, the final boss warps to you. So let's talk about the final boss. Boom. You killed that harpy, and now you're dropping down. You're doing the jumping puzzle. You got to jump through these little fans, uh, this little bladed fan area, and you jump through there. You go through the tunnel. You're crawling. You're crawling. And then now you got to kill more Vex in a room, kill a Minotaur. But now there's a new mechanic. Oh, these red wires. They've been yellow previously, but now they're red. You shoot these red wires. And you got to shoot them quick because if you shoot it and then you wait too long, it'll it'll go off. So you got to shoot them quick. And then once you shoot them all, it'll open a door. You do that three times. Boom. Now you're in the boss room. All right. And you guessed it. It's the same thing. So what you do, you kill ads And this room is full of ads, man. Holy smoke. This boss room is full of ads. You go through, you kill the ads, you kill the minotaur. And now you got to shoot the little red ones on the inside of the pillars, right? So if you walk in the room, there's pillars, there's four pillars. Uh, there's the outside, what we would call on the edges. And then there's the inside. You got to shoot those. You got to light them up. And then there's one little tiny one that you'll miss on the door. And that's going to open up the door. So once you shoot that, you open up the door. Now, one of the nodes on the outside of the pillars will open up and you just shoot it and you follow the path the way you've been doing the whole dungeon. But all while this is happening, the boss is hunting you down. He's like a giant Vex and he's doing the warp lance and he teleports behind you seemingly. He's probably just warping behind you. He's very, uh, he's very stalky. And then you got supplicants coming and blowing up on you. And then you got the regular Vex just shooting at you. So you got to stay alive. So you shoot those guys. You do one side. Boom. You do another side. And now it's damage phase. You get to the middle of the room. The door's going to open up. Oh, wait. Before the doors open up, you got to shoot the little the nodes on the inside again. The same ones you shot to open the ones on the outside of the pillar. So you got to shoot those again. You shoot the one in the door. The door is going to close, going to do the little deactivation sequence. And then they're going to open back up and it's going to say he's damageable. And then you just light him up. And you do that until he's dead. You're into repeat until he's dead. So it's, it's a very easy. I'm kind of like glossing over it. It's very quick. Kind of glossing over it. I don't know if this is the guide video. Maybe I do a more professional type guide video. But um, cool encounters. I think the aesthetic is great. I think the, the loot is awesome. I only got two weapons from my two runs. I still have another character to do. Um, 
Tex Mechanica, my favorite foundry in all of Destiny history, bar none. There's no one that even comes close to how much I love Tex Mechanica. Uh, this dungeon is good. Um, I feel like I know what people are going to take issue with. Um, and that's going to be kind of the... And it's kind of blatant, too. It's kind of the blatant reuse of certain assets. I mean, it is a dungeon, right? Because we, we straight up ripped the Garden of Salvation Hydra boss. And then we got a giant Vex that just walks around. And then we're back on Mars. And then some of the rooms kind of look identically-ish. Is that a word? Identically-ish? Um, but it's fine. I mean, it's it's scaffolding, right? <laughs> the the dungeon is literally scaffolding. So that's, that's kind of metal when you really think about it. It's like not totally super detailed environment but the gear is cool the guns are cool the encounters are cool even if they are a little samey i mean once you do that first encounter i mean you're just carrying that through the whole raid uh where does it rank where does it rank um on my list of uh dungeons i wasn't a big pit guy i i just got into dungeons recently i didn't even do um what was the first one the taken one i didn't even do that one for the first while it was out the one on the Dreaming City. I can't think. Shattered Throne. I didn't even do Shattered Throne until I did it very recently uh, with Glad. Uh, I think we did Pit that same day. I love Prophecy. Prophecy was previously my favorite. I love Grasp of Avarice. That was really fun. Love the racing sequence. I still would say I think Prophecy is still my favorite. I think Prophecy is still my favorite, followed by Grasp and then Pit, then Shattered Throne. Where would this fall? Where would this fall? I got to say this kind of comes in. This kind of comes in right in the middle for me. So if prophecy is number one grasp, I put it right after grasp. I put it in the number three spot. Am I am I forgetting a dungeon? We got prophecy, grasp, pit, shattered throne. Am I forgetting a dungeon? Duality. Oh, duality. All right. Where, where do we put duality? So we got prophecy, grasp. Where would I put duality? I would put do. I think I got to put this one. Do I put this above or below duality? What do you think, chat? Do you think this goes above or below the duality? At the bottom? I don't think... I think I like duality better than uh, Pit and Shattered Throne. Duality was fun to me. I really I really enjoyed duality, like the, the going in between worlds and stuff. That's fun. Um, I think I'll put this one just below duality. I'll put this one just below duality. It's a good dungeon. Um, in terms of just like the dungeon experience overall, it's probably if I use the kind of funny scale out of five, I'd probably give it a three. I know they don't do half scores, but I would probably give this like a three point five out of five. It's really fun. The gear super cool. The weapons are cool. Um, a lot of, you know, and they can't make new enemies every time. I, I get it. It's it's a cool concept. But once you get that first taste of what the raid or what the dungeon is going to be, it kind of gets to be a little samey. I don't dislike it at all. I, I actually really like this dungeon, but if I'm just giving it an ob objective score, I'd probably say 3.5 out of 5. Um, but there you go. That's my quick little rundown of the dungeon. Um, a little quick sloppy tutorial on how to run it and just my thoughts on it in general. But today we had fun, man. We played with True Vanguard, KJ Hovey. Um, so that was fun. Figuring it out with those guys battling through the Calabrese errors a mini and um yeah try it out let me know in the comments of this video what you thought about the dungeon if you liked it if you haven't tried it yet or if this video helps you at all um or even if you'd like me to do a more detailed guide video of this dungeon if you're watching on youtube please hit the like button uh subscribe if you're not already subscribed like i said leave a comment let me know what you think um but until next time peace out i love you Bye bye